Hello LP family. Welcome to today's video on this divine day, Friday the 13th. How are you all? What a beautiful day, a beautiful warm day. Coming to you from the canopy tree walk. My gosh, it's so beautiful. So peaceful. So today, I specifically wanted to do my video today because, you know, it's it's spooky season and it's Friday the 13th and, you know, the subliminal programming has you feeling that today is a day to be scared. And I've made many Friday the 13th videos. Please go back and reference them. But the PSYOP is up, right? The jig is up. We know that it's not a day for spooky behavior, right? Where some stupid slasher maniac is <laughs> coming and cutting up women, right? We know that it's a day to celebrate the divine feminine. And whether you're a man in this life cycle or a woman in this life cycle, we all have divine feminine energy inside of us. I made a whole video talking about your divine energy qualities, your love, your uh, empathy, your the way how you educate, how you teach and share. You know, those are some of your divine feminine qualities. But today is a day that should be celebrated. It's a day that we should take time out to love on ourselves. Friday, the day of Venus, um, as I told you in my days of the week video, right? It's a day for self-love, it's a day for care. And with it being Friday the 13th, the way the, the numerology is adding up, this is a day for us to come into balance with self, especially with the sun being in the sign of Libra. Um, it's a good time for us to come into, into uh, awareness of self, tap in with ourselves. How are we doing, right? How we've been feeling. My glasses feel like they slide in, <laughs> right? How we've been feeling. What is coming up for us from the bowels? That's what our ancestors would do, okay? That's what the communities would do in ancient times. So I'm not just saying ancestors, you know, the great, great grandparents. I'm talking about eons of traditions before the divine masculine took over and in their bitterment tried to suppress the divine feminine energy. But until we recognize that we all have to work together in order to elevate, even though divine feminine has a little, little extra oomph, right? Because we hold the creation. We are walking portals. So the divine feminine energy that we all hold within us, okay? Because as you know, even when you're being born and formed in your mother's womb, the only way how you're entering this realm, this planet Earth, is through your mother's womb. So while she is creating you, until you uh, morph, okay, until you have some type of genetic mutation, you're a female, okay? So the divine feminine energy that you hold within you allows you to express some of these feelings that you may hold within self regarding other things that you have in your life, other relationships, but you have to tap in to see how that's molding you. And today, especially on the heels of this new moon in Libra that we're going to have tomorrow on the 14th, and it's a solar eclipse on the 14th, okay, where the moon crosses between the sun and the earth, so it is shadowing it, right? This eclipse is the ring of, is going to have a ring of fire because you're seeing the sun on the outer realm of it. But this is allowing certain shadows, certain things that have been bothering you, that have been like suppressed, that you haven't quite um, tapped into and, and healed. This is a perfect time to listen to that and see what's coming up for you and journal about it or speak about it. If you've been thinking about calling someone <clears throat> that you maybe haven't spoken to in a while or making amends with someone or 
um, just maybe you can't talk to this person anymore, but you held some energy towards them that was not of the most uplifting, benevolent kind, right? So now you want to kind of shed that energy. Now's a good time to do that by writing or even thinking about them, thinking about what you want to say, rewriting certain um, scenarios, right? I do that with people sometimes in my mental sessions where we have to go into a space to rewrite certain traumas um, that have happened, rewriting the scenario because your mind can't tell that it's, you know, not happening again or not in the now. That's why people who suffer from PTSD, it's so real for them. It's like they're right back in the moment because the mind is replaying it because you have it stored in the body. So this body is sending the signals to the mind, interacting with the chemicals that you have going on in your brain, allowing those synapses to fire again, and you're reliving those events all over again. So thinking about and rewriting, visualizing things going differently. If you're abused by a parent or you saw a parent abuse someone else and you always felt helpless because you were a child and you want to tell them no, replay that scenario and you step up and you say, no, stop, we're done, no more. I will not allow you to cause her harm anymore. This is a perfect time for that. This is a perfect time for that. Libra is all about air. It's all about spirit. And it's all about balance. Okay? So come into this balance, self-love, on this Divine Feminine Friday the 13th day. Allow yourself to feel that energy wholly and completely so you can be lighter. Because now is the time to focus on you. I'm so sorry for everything else that's happening around the world everywhere around the world. I am so sorry for that. However, that's not what we need to focus on, okay? You need to stand with you. I was gonna make a video that says, I stand with me, and I probably still will make it, but I stand with you. You have to be with yourself right now, and now is the time for you to tap into that. So take this energy, take this opportunity on this Divine Feminine Friday the 13th, whether you're a man or a woman, Okay, and celebrate those qualities that we all hold within ourselves. Celebrate the creative energy that surrounds us all. Okay, because the universe embodies creative energy, the universe embodies creativity, the universe stems from feminine energy. Okay, we are the walking portals, we hold that. So, allow yourself to be of an open mind. Allow your spirit to come to check into balance. Use this energy to help you. You have nothing to lose. It's free. Everything I just told you is free. Okay? And instead of going into the spooky season or, you know, the veil is thinning, which it is, right? I know October 31st is coming up, Halloween, Samhain, and people are like, well, the veil is thin. We're going to conjure spirits. But that's all month. Okay? Especially with this eclipse energy. Oh, you have the opportunity. <laughs> to tap in. So it's not just the veil is thinning for your ancestors, for passed on loved ones and your spirit animals, but it's also thinning where you can connect with your higher self as well. If you've been having trouble and cloudiness, connecting with your higher self, go outside and ground, go earth yourself barefoot or using your hands, okay? Because you have chakras here too, touching the earth, ground yourself, let yourself feel here physical in the present. But what that does is it clears out energy and opens up your crown so you can connect with your, with your higher self. So you can feel your spirit a little bit more. Go out there and do that. And I guarantee you that you'll be receiving a lot more information and you'll be able to send information out. The thinning of the veil is not just to receive, it's also to send. What the f are you creating? What are you creating at this point in time? Okay, harvest season, we are reaping what we've sowed, but we're also sowing things as well. You have things that you can plant at this point in time, meaning your thoughts. Okay, so that's it. I love you all. Make this day wonderful and spectacular. Look at the beautiful scenery here. Let me flip my tea. I love you all. I appreciate you all. And until we connect again, stay alert, stay aware, and live in love. Peace.